is the way. Bill, thanks for coming on the program. My pleasure. You guys started working together in 1988. That's right. And worked right up through her retirement. Right. And put the view exactly on the air right. in 97. 97, that's right. So tell me of how you first came to get to know Barbara Walters and then how that turned into this collaborative relationship. We, uh, I met her in, eight, in 88. I had worked at Good Morning America. I was a field producer there. My boss was a woman named Phyllis McGrady. She was the executive producer. When David Hartman, if you remember this, David Hartman left Good Morning America, I went with David, and Phyllis went with Barbara to produce her specials. Widely considered the best job in television, producing the Barbara Walters specials. You do a show, 40 million people watch. Three months later, you do another, another 40 million people watch. It was the greatest job ever. She, for some reason, decided she wanted to do something else, and she set me up to meet Barbara. She said, this guy's perfect, um, but you don't know him. And so I sat down, as you know, I was like 30 years old, 32 or something, from Oklahoma, sitting there in front of Barbara Walters, trying to not look terrified. And she's a little intimidating, you may have guessed. Yeah. And she says, why should I hire you? You know, everybody wants this job. I don't even know you. And I, everybody at 2020, everybody at ABC wants this job. <laughs> and I said, look, I know that when you uh, hire someone, you want somebody sort of for life. That's kind of the way she worked. She forged a relationship and it went on for a, I said, consider me fired after the first show. And so for some reason that appealed to her. Then about halfway through shooting the show, she said, what do you got in plan for the next show? I said, I didn't know. She says, you can't just work on one show at a time, Bill. You have to keep looking ahead. And that was the last conversation we had about employment for 27 years. That's fantastic. And you guys did so much incredible work. The, those specials, you say, you, you do one show 40 million people tune yeah. in. Uh, there are too many highlights, I'm sure, but maybe you can pull a couple out of memory that really stood out to you. The, the three highlights with Barbara for me are, I'll tell them real quickly, the, one of the first things we did was Audrey Hepburn, interview on the beach in Acapulco. I arrived there before Barbara. Audrey says, let's have dinner together. So I'm sitting with Audrey Hepburn and the mayor of Acapulco and my wife, who I should tell you to this day tells me I kept my back to her the entire time. <laughs> um, and, and I thought, this job <laughs> producing the Barbara Walters specials. I'm sitting there with Audrey Hepburn chatting her up like I've deserved to be here. Um, that was an amazing experience. Uh, starting the view was there, it, until you've taken something from nothing, had everybody tell you it's a terrible idea, put it on the air, people tell you it's a, still tell you it's a terrible idea, you tell yourself it's a terrible idea, and you struggle through it and make it part of the national conversation, that's an amazing experience. And then finally, I, th I, th I, think, I, I think winning the um, uh, 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 Lifetime Achievement Award at the daytime, that was a huge thing for me. Well, it's remarkable, the view still on today. Yes. I mean, that, that legacy continues, and that show has continued to change and evolve, but, yes. but the, the seeds of what you two put together are still there and on the air. Uh, I know that legacy is a big concept, uh, and, and I think Barbara Walters is one person who would have multiple lanes in that yes. field. Uh, but how would you encapsulate her legacy in, in broadcasting and beyond that? You know, p people ask me that, and, and, I, and I get tired of the same answer, which is, oh, she broke down these doors for sex against sexism and ageism. And, I, and all that's true, but what nobody ever says is, but how did she do it? How she did it is interesting. In 1964, when she's on the Today Show, she couldn't cover a war. That's man's work. She can't cover a tr murder trial, Congress. That's men's work. Even the interview she had did, she had to do outside the studio. What she did was discover that she's really good at interviews. And she leaned into that and be, made herself indispensable. And it's a great lesson for anybody, I think. But aside the sexism, age, and yes, uh, yes, she did amazing things there. But find that thing you're good at and double down on it, you know, and let that be your North Star. That's what she did. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to come on and share some of your memories. I mean, for someone, I do interviews for a living, watch Barbara Walters, and you, know, you continue to watch that as a study in how this That's work exactly is right. done. She's remarkable. Thank you. And I appreciate you sharing those memories with our audience. My pleasure.